Alrighty, so I've been in to see Lord British. We've had a chat and nobody has leveled up, not surprisingly, because we haven't done very much battling in the last little while. But one thing I would like to do now is actually go a whole bunch of places using our boat. And if we're going to be doing a lot of boat travel, the first place that we should probably go is down to the Cape of Heroes to go and find the wheel. Because the wheel is going to offer us a little bit more defensive protection for our ship. And that's going to be imperative if we're going to be heading out on the open water to go fetch other things like the bell that we heard about and also other places, for example, like Magincia, which we know is in the middle of the ocean at specific coordinates that we have. So the Cape of Heroes is actually located at the most southern point of this continent and it's hard to see on the map, but there's actually an indication of some dark blue there, which would indicate some deep water. So the first place that we should go is over there. So somebody was saying to us that we had to search the deep waters in the Bay of the Cape of Heroes. That was Lassorn, who was the survivor. So let's go and see what happens to us. Hopefully nothing terrible. So we're just going to follow this continent south all the way to the bottom and then sweep up and around into the bay and hopefully we will find what we're looking for. Thankfully, this isn't too far of a trek. It's pretty quick actually. So this right in here, I think, should be the bay because these are like the little claws that are kind of on the outside of the bay. So now we just have to search the deep water. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully in a timely fashion, we will find our wheel. All right, so there is the wheel from the HMS Cape. So now if we go into our, is it equipment? No, uh, items, there we go. If we use the wheel, You'll see that our ship value up at the top went from 50 up to 99, so it literally gives our ship more HP, figuratively speaking. So let's just save our game here. Excellent. Alright, so the next thing I'd like to show you guys is the sextant. So if we go into the use area and we go back to equipment, we can see that the sextant is here. Now when we select this, you'll see that it gives us coordinates and we get a latitude and a longitude. So we're at latitude NH and longitude GA. So that will differ depending on where we are on the world map. And you guys probably know how latitude and longitude works. So as you move north and south, it'll change and east and west, it'll also change for you. So let's say hypothetically, we scoot over east one position We'll go back, we will use our sextant again, and you'll see that we will be at NH and GB instead. So, the first place that we need to go is to NALA, and that is to find the bell. So I am going to putter around on the ocean and try to find that location, and hopefully we will be able to find it in a timely fashion and have another item, because we've already got the book. So I will see you guys as I search probably and when I get there. Be right back. Okay, so we have found latitude NA and we are on track to getting onto the correct longitude so we're just going to keep heading east so we're at kd so that should bring us e f g h i j k l m oh this looks promising n o p and then l a i bet you this is the spot let's just double check on our sextant here oops that's not what we want to do there we go n a l a and this is a well where the bell should be found. So let us actually search here. Perfect. And we have now in our hands the bell of courage. So we've got the book and the bell. We still have to find the candle. Now we know where the candle is. It's just a matter of 
finding that town off of Lock Lake that we need. So the other place that we should probably go is to Magencia. And Magencia is located at KJ and LL. So I'm going to go on a little quest and hopefully find Magencia. And from there, we can actually enter a town, meet some new people, and see what's what over there. So I am going to continue to peruse the waters and hopefully see you guys shortly. So we're currently on the trajectory for Magencia. We got onto the right longitude line and just headed north until we ran into it. And here we are. So let's disembark and we can save our game here. There we go. And we're gonna head right into this little town. Now, for those of you that may not recall, Magencia is a town where humility is kind of the instilled virtue because this used to be a very prideful city that, as you can see, was destroyed. And history, as we've been told by many people, indicates that they've been destroyed because of their pride. So this is the most humble place that we will be able to visit. So let's actually, before we go anywhere else, make a bunch of cures because as you can see, this place is full of poisonous patches and we don't want to end up in a situation where we are perpetually poisoned, but as it stands, we probably will be poisoned quite often while we're here. So we're going to need to make a bunch of cure spells and cures are made up of ginseng and garlic. So let's go in and we will actually mix some reagents. So ginseng and garlic, and we're gonna mix those. And I guess we can only make 18 of them. So let's hope that's, a, that's all that we need. Thought that we had more garlic than that. All right, well, we have plenty and we can cross our fingers that we make it through mostly unscathed, <laughs> but with our luck, who knows? We might need to come back. All right, so first things first, I guess, um, let's try to get into town on the path of least poisonous resistance. <laughs> Three poisoned already. Um, we can just leave them poisoned for a moment. It's not really super important. We're just gonna wander around in town and there's lots more poisonous patches. So if all worse comes to worse, we will figure it out. All right, so we're gonna be talking to a bunch of different individuals. So let's head back over to our conversation tab and we are in Magencia. So a horribly ghastly devil named Virtubane. And he is still horrible and ghastly. He welcomes us to Magencia, the proud city of the high seas. He is devilish. Magencia fell unto the realm of darkness, for the foundation of their virtue was ill-placed in pride. Art thou proud? No. Ah. Okay, so he won't say anything else to us for the moment, which probably indicates that we're going to need to come back to him at some point. Okay. Who are you? We have Ghostly. He's ghostly, a shadowy ghost, who haunts Magencia. He's an undead in search of peace. Peace I can never find, forever banished unto the realm of earthbound spirits. Be not proud of thy little deeds, lest ye too fall from the light. Okay, so that's a good warning. Oh dear. We are in a battle with a snake. So let's actually run away. Because I don't actually want to fight the snake. That's not a very nice thing to do. Okay, um, so Ghostly is undead, haunts Magencia. And now we have Ruskin. Ruskin is a blue ghost. He will try to understand humility. His health is not well, no kidding, he's dead. The first test of a great soul is humility. Dost thou seek to know humility? Yes, thou shalt need the rune. Oh, tell me more, Mr. Ghost. Ask the snake of the rune just before it strikes. Oh, you mean that snake that just got in a fight with us? Um, okay. Ask snake of rune before 
it strikes. So I wonder if I need to speak to it before it engages us in battle. I'm actually gonna heal us up here. There we go, because we're not gonna walk through poison all the time. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Dimitri. He's Dimitri. He is a thin skeleton. That's an interesting description. He rattles his bones. He's about the same as yesterday. Bones, them bones, them dry bones. Art thou dead? No. Watch out for Nate. <laughs> oh no. Wait, Nate. Isn't that... Didn't somebody talk about Nate the snake? Wasn't there some jester who teased us about that? We're not dead. Okay. Talk to this person. We meet rattling bones. He is Weirdrum. He's rattling bones. He haunts and he haunts and he haunts. He's haunted. Oh, fair enough. A haunting job takes more than a lifetime. It takes forever. <laughs> Okay, looks like we cannot speak to that person anymore. They don't have a second option, which indicates to me that we're going to need to come back. Now, no matter which way we go here, we're going to have to take three patches of poison. So let's just jump in. A crumbling skeleton named Banter. He once held the silver horn. His health is a bit bony. The silver horn must be used to pass the demon guard of the shrine. Okay. To pass demon horde of, I'm guessing the humility shrine, because we were told it's on a dark island and inaccessible except through massive amounts of demon horde. <laughs> so that's pretty terrible. All right. Weirdrum has been to the Shrine of Humility. Seek ye the horn? Yes. Ask Dimitri. Okay. Perfect. Alright, let's get out of this poison. Ah, boo. Everybody else is poisoned. Okay, give me a second. I'm just gonna heal up. There we go. Now, this was Dimitri, I think. Yep. Let's ask him about the horn. The Queen of Love has a lady in waiting and she can tell thee more of the horn. Okay, so the Queen of Love must be at Empath Abbey. And that would be, gosh, what's her name? Susanna, I think, who cast us out of her room and said, are you supposed to be here? And we were like, maybe? And she's like, I don't think so, and sent us away. So, um, go to Empath Abbey, talk to lady in waiting about the horn. Alright. Great. So that's some good new information. So that's something we can add to our to-do list here. And we can walk around and chat with the rest of the folks that are here. There's a weapons dealer. But we'll talk to this person first. This is Haywood. A tall ghost. He haunts eternally. He is as well as can be expected. Well, this place is a little bit depressing, eh? Pride goeth before, shame cometh after. Art thou proud? No, a proud soul surely knows not its worth. Okay, so this is somebody else who's only said one thing to us, so maybe we'll have to come back and speak with them. So this person doesn't want to talk to us at all, I guess? Okay. That's alright, that's alright. Go to the Amour shop. Uh, another ghostly. I wonder if this is just a generic person. Yeah, it seems that way. So this is the same conversation. Alright. We'll speak with this person instead then. A small ghost. This is Casperin. That's a fun name. A small ghost who haunts this shop. He's feeling a bit translucent. Oh, they make the sadness so kind of tongue-in-cheek, eh? 
A lot of haunting goes on round here. Know thee why? Yes, pride is the surest measure of goals never attained. Wonder what happens if I say no. Pride. Okay, well, there we go. Seek ye the mantra for humility. Ask ye Haywood. Okay, ask Haywood for mantra. All right. Oh, hello. A shadowy ghost. Oh, that's not the person we want. Haywood is up at the top. A shadowy ghost named Ghostly. Okay, so this is just another generic ghost. Let's go back and talk with Haywood. Let's ask him the mantra. Faultless knows the mantra of pride. Ask him. Ask Faultless for mantra. All right, well, we haven't met Faultless yet. And these ghosts are just going through the walls over here. Can I speak with... Ah, I can't speak on a diagonal, eh? Okay, that's just more ghostly. Let's see what's over here. Maybe there's somebody hidden in the trees or something. Another shadowy ghost. Is that ghost? Oh my gosh, there's so many ghosts over there. I don't want to go in the poison. I wonder if they all move. They all seem to. Okay, that's just another ghostly. What is this place? We haven't been in there yet. I wonder if there's like a hidden path to get down there don't tell me we need to go through the poison patch oh well, maybe we do unless we can go in that way oh there's a pub oh look at all these nice other skeletons who are you slim he's a skinny skeleton who rattles his bones he's a bit on the thin side he did value himself far too greatly, and pride was his downfall. Art thou always humble? No, take no pride in humility, lest ye destroy it. Pride is a terrible thing. Okay. Come back here, you. I guess we can talk with this ghost. Oh, that's another ghostly. Okay, so this is Splot interesting names in this place a weeping skeleton he regrets he's been better no kidding he was once proud stripped thyself of conceits only the humble are pure the root from which all virtues grow dost thou seek purity yes then ask the snake of the rune and the stone okay ask snake of rune and stone All right, so we're gonna have to have a chat with that snake and I wonder if that snake is gonna come back or not. Okay, we're gonna have to brave some poison here. That wasn't too bad. Oops. There we go. Can go and chat with these other skeletons. Oh, that's a ghost. What? No, that's not a ghost. A ghostly skeleton. The game is confused. Okay, a jabbering skeleton named Skullface. <laughs> uh, I feel like that should have been Skeletor's nickname in He-Man. He's jabbering. He's a nobleman of great birth. He's most superb. Me and my brother are the last two of the great Meridid family. Thou hast heard of us, of course, yes? No, you must not be from near these parts. Okay. Okay, so we can't say anything else. Merited family. Okay, we have Boozer. He is a dumpy ghost. He was once a powerful merchant. His health is drunk. His wealth was boundless. He held great power. A proud soul surely knows not its worth. Dost thou see? Yes, the world goes on without me. Okay. This is just a regular ghostly. I wonder if there's like 
any secret ghosts that look like they're just regular ghosts, but then they're really not. Okay, hmm. Well, we can head over here. Okay, this guy is actually... Come here, you. He starts off... No, he doesn't start off as ghostly. Hmm. He is ghostly. Okay, they all just haunt Magentia, eh? Okay. Go talk to the skeleton guy. Hey. Like I just scooted right in our way. Alright, we have Bulbous. He is a fat skeleton. He runs the shop. He couldn't be better. Why the food shop, of course. Can I interest thee in some rations? Yes? Hum. Our stock seems to have spoiled. Well, we're expecting more any day. Hmm. Okay. Food shop owner. It's kind of sad. Like, they're really illustrating something good with this this town and showing that even in death that some of these spirits still haven't quite let go of their lives and their pride that's pretty terrible okay well as it stands i think we've spoken with everybody except faultless whoever that is i wonder if that's like a ghost i guess we can just talk at random ghosts as we go by here um hmm how do I get poisoned so much every time? Okay, let me just cure these folks. Alright, so we're pretty well cured all around. Okay, so that was Splot. And Slim. So most of the ghosts are just ghostlies. And then there's that angry devil guy. And then there's the guy who's over in the corner there. I wonder if there's anybody up in this top corner. I'm gonna say no. I feel like I've been over there in my other playthrough and didn't find anybody. And there's no one in that corner either. Alright. Well. What we should try to do is have a chat with Nate. But since we fought him, he's gone forever and we're gonna have to leave town and come back in in order to talk to him. So, we're gonna have to brave this poison patch. Ooh, we made it unscathed. Okay, so let's leave. And come back in. So the trick is gonna be to try to get Nate the snake to approach us, but not initiate a fight. So we're gonna try really hard to do that. It might work, it might not. So just give me a moment here. Okay, so hopefully, there's the snake. So we have to get beside the snake. Without getting into a battle. <laughs> Gonna have to try this again. Everyone is poisoned. But we need to do this. So... There we go. All right. Let's talk to him. All right. We meet a mean looking viper. And this is Nate. He is Nate. His job is to bring death to all life in Magentia. Yikes. He's bloodthirsty. <laughs> you should invite him to join us. Uh, the stone. It says those who seek the black stone need ask in the pub in Britain. Blackstone ask in Britain's pub. Okay, good information, good information. And the rune of humility vanished from this city. Ask Baron in pause. Okay, Baron in pause about the rune. All right, so that's great information. So nothing is located in this particular city. Okay. Oh, we're going to fight him now. I think I'm still going to run away from him. 
And we don't want to kill him. Okay, so let's go on another little adventure over this way. We're already poisoned, so why the hell not, right? We still have enough HP. But there's also a person over here that we can't quite recruit just yet. This is one of our last party members, but we're not at a high enough level. But we can speak with this person for now. We'll come back for her later. And this is Katrina. And she is a shepherd. She's a survivor. Her health is well. Majincia was destroyed by its pride. And pride flourishes in the absence of truth, love, and courage. Art thou proud? No. But humility is the virtue that must overcome pride. Okay. So if we ask her to join us, she'll say we're not experienced enough yet. But we shouldn't be too far off. Okay. Well, that just about brings us to the end of what we can do in Magencia for the time being. So, let us, I guess, follow up on some of the leads that we just got. So, I'm going to heal up all the people I can and jump back in our boat. And then we're going to head back up to the mainland. So, I will see you guys when we get out toward Lord British's castle. Alright, for you guys, I have a tale of woe. So, we had three poison party members on our boat, and I ran out of cure medicine, and I killed three of them. And I realized that I haven't really talked much about resurrection because I haven't died yet, but to resurrect somebody, you essentially have to go to a healer, and you have to pay, I think it's 300 gold pieces per person, and then hope that they don't die again on the way back to heal them up at Lord British's castle. So that was a little bit of a diversion that I took. I did a little bit of battling, healed up everybody, and here we are. So I suppose what we might do for the moment is skip on over to Britain's pub on the advice of Nate the Snake and see what is what about the Black Stone. So let's go into there. All right. So we will go and find the pub, which is spirits, question mark? We'll see. All right, jolly spirits. Aha, we are at the bar. So we're going to pay for a grog, as usual, and we're going to give a little tip. And it's saying, what would you like to know, friend? And we're going to ask here about the black stone. So we're going to give 30 gold pieces. And he says, ah, the black stone. Yes, I've heard of it. But the only one who knows where it lies is the wizard Merlin. And that's so interesting that there's actually a wizard Merlin that we somehow also need to track down. Okay, pub master. Ask Merlin about black stone. And where we'll find Merlin? Nobody knows. All right. So, that is a good thing to have set into motion. I guess, too, we can donate to this beggar as well. Good old Sprite. And we'll give our usual 30 gold pieces. Because why not? And also, too, while we're here, we can actually go to the healer and donate some blood as well. Because we do have a full HP. So we're willing to give 100 pints or points of the blood to aid others. Yes, there we go. Great. So the next place we might consider heading off to is the town of Paws, again on Nate the Snake's advice. And we should probably go there the long way, because it would do us some good to do some battling and level up a couple of our characters. It never hurts to level up. And that way, if we do level up Hun, we'll be able to eventually recruit our last two party members. We've already met Katrina, but we also haven't gotten Janna yet. If you recall, Janna was in the town of Yu, and we kind of had a chat with her, and we're like, hey, you should come with us. But at the time, we didn't have enough experience and then recruited other people in her absence. So that's something else that we should probably do. Okay, so we have reached pause, and now we need to find Baron. I feel like Baron was down here. Was that this guy? A hooded ranger named Baron. How convenient. Okay, so we can ask him about the rune. So it says, 
Search the hills in the southeast corner of town. Okay, so we're at the bottom corner of town for the moment. Okay, so here are some hills. Is this the southeast corner? Nice. Okay, so we've got the Rune of Humility. That's awfully convenient. So now, with this, we can go off eventually to find Merlin, wherever he might be, and talk to him and get that mantra. And then that's one more shrine that we're going to be able to visit. So that's great news. Well, let's go back up to Castle Britannia and go and see our good friend, Hawkwind. Now, I'm just fleeing from those guys because they are non-evil creatures. So my last cure was saving it for good measure. Okay, so we're back to Lord British's castle. So I'm just going to run down to his altar room, heal, and then we're going to go and see Hawkwind. Hopefully we've gained a couple of levels for some people. Maybe? Nope. Not yet. Alright, well at least we got ourselves some free healing. And let's go see what our good old buddy Hawkwind thinks of us these days. We haven't been to see him in a little while. Oh hey friend. Alright. So, let's see how we're doing with honesty. So we're doing all right. Continued honesty will reward us. Compassion. We still need to work on it. Valor, we are partial avatar in, so we won't ask about that. We are fair and just. We need to keep being just. Sacrifice. We need to keep finding more ways. Honor. We already knew that we could get elevation in that one. Spirituality. Still need to work on that. And humility. Nice. So it says... Our humility shines bright upon thy being. Seek ye now elevation. So that's good news. It's too bad that we can't get to that area just yet without the silver horn and all of that other good stuff. So well, that's cool. So we can just pop over to our other little spreadsheet here. Uh, shrines and stones. And we can make humility nice and blue. And that is going to remind us that someday... Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, that we can go and seek elevation in humility. Awesome. Well, I guess from here, the best route would maybe be to continue finding some of the things that we found out in Magencia. So we also are supposed to head back up toward you, if you recall and go back and talk with the lady in waiting there. So I guess instead of boating over there, we can catch the moon gate. So I'm just gonna go and wait for that and I'll see you guys when we get to you.